Good afternoon. Well, we're over in Montana at our good friends Brad and Sonny's place doing a whole bunch of milling, milling, milling. We're making lumber for our house. That's pretty exciting. So I think in today's video, I'm gonna to try to answer three questions I've got, well, that were not only questions I had before we bought a mill and started milling, but a whole lot of you have asked as well. Number one is how much lumber actually comes out of a log. If you do a search on Google, like I did, trying to figure that out, generally you come back with formulas and measurements that give you either cubic volume or board feet. And for a layman like me, that doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna take an average size log off of our big old pile here and turn it into eight foot two by fours, because that's what most people can get their head around. The second question I'm gonna to try to answer is, was it worth buying a sawmill and attempting to make our own lumber for our house? We'll get into that after we make some sawdust. But I think the third question that probably needs to be answered is, is it legal to make our own lumber and build our house with it? The vast majority of the country, that's not legal. You have to have graded and stamped lumber. But where we're building in Northern Idaho and Bonner County, we can kind of do whatever we want, almost. We do have a building department, but it's more like a planning department there. They want to make sure your house is in a specific location. You're not encroaching on setbacks and water and all sorts of things like that. But it's not a traditional building department that comes out and inspects to make sure you're building things to code or that your lumber's graded and stamped. They don't care about any of that. If a house falls down on you, it's your own fault. So, yes, we can build with our own lumber. You, that may be a different case. You're gonna have to look into that if you're thinking about a mill. So, I think for now, we should just grab a log off the pile and start making some lumber. See how it goes. So these are all Douglas fir logs that came down in a big windstorm this winter. Our friends Brad and Sonny are nice enough to share these suckers with us. Brad and Sonny, thanks for the logs! and the time and the effort and all that stuff. You guys are the best, for real. In interest of science, we're gonna take an average size log out of this pile. Obviously, the bigger the log, the more lumber you're gonna get out of it, but um, again, for science, we're going for average. Most of these logs are in the 12 to 15 inch range. We've got some that are bigger, some that are smaller, but uh, this one here, it's a little over 12 inches. And that should be a pretty good representation of how much lumber we're going to get out of a log.
All right, the last thing we got to do here is just edge these, what are there, three boards. We'll get a few more two by fours out of that and then we'll do a count, see what we got. But uh, pretty quick work of a average size log. Well, there was one 12 inch log done. Any guesses on how many two by fours we got? Well, I'll tell you, it was 14. 14 out of that one average size log, which is pretty darn good yield really, I think, for, um, for something that's not all that big and easily manageable. And it only took us about 15 minutes to process the whole log. In today's lumber prices, that's over a hundred bucks worth of lumber in about 15 minutes worth of work. Granted, we did have to get all these logs out of the woods, chop them up, all that kind of stuff. So there's some pretty significant time and expense getting these logs here, but still 15 minutes worth of work and about a hundred bucks worth of lumber. Really not too bad. So I guess the last question I was gonna try to answer really is was it worth buying a little sawmill? For us, I think the answer is Probably yes. At this point, we've built a shed, a solar kiln, and milled about 30% of the lumber for our house. Again, in today's lumber prices, that's, well, well over, I would say around 15 grand worth of lumber that we've made already. And we still have about two thirds of the house to go. We'll eventually build a shop. Brenda wants a greenhouse, a little art studio, lots of stuff. So this sucker's gonna get used a lot more than it already has and it's already paid for itself. So for us, definitely worth it. For you, I can't answer that. I think if you're somebody who likes working with your hands and the satisfaction of turning your own trees into your own lumber, then definitely. If not, it's kind of a pain in the butt, really. It's a lot of work. Some days we're not sure what we're doing or why we're doing this. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll talk to you soon. But for now, we're going to get back to milling. We've got two thirds of a house left to mill. That's a lot. All right. Talk to you soon. Quit. <laughs> this is terrible pay.